Today is my birthday. I've got a few guests over, so I thought it's a great idea to prepare a beautiful food platter. Normally these are called cheese platters, but my platter won't be focused mainly on cheese. It would have many other things. Really, whatever your heart desires can be put on the platter, and I'll show you my version of it. To begin with, you're gonna need a tray. Now, I'm using just a very old serving tray, but you could use any tray, such as the ones that I'm showing you, or even fancier, like a ceramic one. Because my tray isn't very clean and new, I'm using the paper, so I'm cutting out to size and make sure that it fits nicely inside. You don't have to do it if you have a new and clean platter. The first thing on the tray is the cheeses. So any cheese you like, you can use right here. I've only had very few in the fridge, so I'm cutting them up and arranging them on my platter. Once you laid out your cheese, the next thing I've used was some sausages. So these are like a smoked sausages. They actually Polish, they're called cabanose. And also all sort of ham, salami, pepperoni, any kind of meat you have would be good here. I made sure that first I folded the salami so that I could make shapes out of it. really improvising here with those kind of flower shaped salami but I know people make beautiful roses out of salami so if you know how to make it it really looks spectacular on your platter So I'm arranging the sausages, the baked sausages next to the cheese and I decided to move the cheese around. So if you find that something doesn't quite fit, just be free to move things around. Here you see me using a little sesame biscuits. I thought they're really nice because they're a little bit sweet and crunchy. You can use anything such as crackers or any biscuits that will go well with cheeses. Now I'm using dry fruit, which is figs, and I also had apricots, but in the meantime I forgot I've got pretzels as well, which looks really pretty on a platter, so I've put them next to the cheese. And then I've added the dried apricots, which go really, really nice with the cheese. I also want to add some colors to it, so I'm using the cherry tomatoes and some grapes. I also have green grapes, but I'll add them a little bit later, because it looks really colorful on the platter. I'm adding a little bit more of fruits. I've got an apple which I chopped in the slices and arranged it into like a little heart shape. Next thing I add is pecan nuts because nuts make really good composition on the platter. My platter is overflowing, but I've still forgotten that I wanted to add some olives. So here I'm putting some olives, but really you could put some jam, honey, Really, whatever your heart desires, you can put on the platter, depending how big the size of it is. My platter wasn't very big and I really had so much more to put onto it. However, I ran out of space, so here is my proposition for you. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave your comments below. Perhaps you have prepared platters like that before. And if you have, let me know in the comments below what do you put on your fruit platter. And if not, I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.